All right, what's going on, everybody? Dr. Wendy back in again with another video. Like I said last time, we continue continuing on going through my Fikamon decks. We're on Gen 2. We stopped on Lucerne Servant last time. Next up, we're going up to Hoppo. So, let's see. Hoppo is the White Rabbit Pokemon. And as you can see, basically, it's based on pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Man, I was creative back then. But... Yeah, it's pretty much like a white rabbit inside of a hat with a wand. Yeah, not much else I can say about this. It's 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 pretty generic. Not like it's 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 a cool design, but I need to re. I definitely need to re. Uh, yeah, y'all y'all probably tired of me saying that. I need to revamp this. I need to revamp that. Y'all know that it's gonna happen eventually. But yeah, Hoppo is just. I wanted to do a pulling a rabbit out of hat mine. I did it in a basic way. Yeah. Well, well, we could just move on then, cause there's not much else to say about it. Next up, we have Cacaseed, the Scarecrow Pokemon. Mm. It's it's okay. Is there's not there's not much I can say about it, honestly. I, it's, it's one of the it's one of the few mods that I did that I actually drew out on paper first, and I remember it vividly because I remember its evolution had like a bunch of different iterations of it before I actually set it on how it looks now. But for this design, I remember one other uh, design design that I had before it, but I'm not sure if it's here. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. So we can just so yeah, it's supposed to be a scarecrow. Like we all know how scarecrows look, how they are. They have the they're just filled with hay and everything like that. I don't know why I had this the eye things going on. Hold on, let me see the decks. It said that they can see their past life through their blood red eye. Really? Wait a second. These Pokemon can't alive when young slaves possess a scarecrow. Oh god damn it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, this 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 definitely needs a revamping. Next up we got Recrowile. It looks okay. It's pretty much a generic basic scarecrow kind of thing. It's like a bit too on the nose. Which I mean I mean a lot of designs are on the nose, but this just feels a bit too on the nose because of how because it's T posing. I have a T posing, and his legs are literally sticks. So yeah, <sighs> we're gonna we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move on, huh? Next up, we got Assassin. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty much based on the Assassin Bug. I think, aka the Kissing Bug, if if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. I may be getting that confused, but. Yeah, it's, I don't really know what to say about it because it's, again, like most of my old designs, got a pretty basic kind of generic appearance. Well, not a, not a generic, it's, it's, far, it's far from kind of generic because it's got like the, the way the arms are and the fact that they're coming out of the front of the body, the way that the legs are and the markings on its body and everything. Like it's not it's not generic. It just the pose doesn't really help, and it doesn't look really look much like what it's based off of to me at least. Like hold on, assassin bug. Yeah. So. Yeah, this doesn't. Wait, wait. This this is a wheel bug. Hold on. Here they are, yeah. The they these are not. This doesn't look. This doesn't look like. No. It's just it has a generic kind of bug head, like a mantis head. It doesn't really have anything to do with this. You can see it all these, and it's just yeah. You're gonna it's it's gonna happen. We know we know. 
Next up we got Symbia, the bottom feeder Pokemon. It is based off of, it used to be based off of like an urchin or like a tongue louse or something like that. But I recently revamped it and now it looks a lot better. You can see the original one is, well, hold on. The original one got to go through. You got this. Something that's really, really, really just basic, simple, not really anything at all. And now it's based off of an oyster crab. But it used to be this. Just a black ball with a spike on its head and two little arms. And and, and it's cause and of course angry. It, it's an okay it's an okay design. It was okay, it's okay, but it's like not I didn't really know what to do with it, what it was. It's it's basically connected to the next mon that's in the decks because of it, it has a symbiotic relationship, hence why it's named it Symbia. But yeah. Now it's based off of an oyster crab and it actually has like more of a definite form. And because because I because I wanted to have fun with it and everything, I gave it like venom eyes in a sense. Because symbiotic, symbiotic, symbiote, I wanted to like have make some fun with that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it looks cool now. It it's all right. Like this design was all right too, but I wanted to have something that's more definitive. Hence why it's now this. It's yeah, it's now a crab. Sim, yep, oyster crab. And mixed up, we got Molosim. And as you can see. The old version of Symbia is still in here, and I don't know. I, no, it's too different now. It's too different to be like a, a shelter situation. It's too different to be a shelter situation. So, yeah, Mal Malasim hasn't really changed much at all. It's pretty much just a cartoony clam kind of the house kind of deal. It's not. I, I can't really explain much because. The shape, like, Molosim was one of those designs where I made it, but I don't really remember the process behind me making it. Like, I remember drawing it, but I don't remember the process to where I came up with this design. Like, I knew I wanted to make a clam, and I did. But I don't know where this shape came to be, why, where these colors are, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's definitely gonna get a revamp at some point, especially since Symbia in there, the Symbia in there is no longer like a real, well, it's still, I probably have to put like the new version in here or just have it, or just have it so, uh, nah, nah, I'll just have the new version in there. It'll be okay. Next up, we got Monary, the Zen Pokemon. Now, Monterey is based off of a Satori, which is one of those ape things. Those ape, I forgot. It's like an ape that is, yeah. Okay, so Satori is a sudden enlightenment and state of consciousness attained by intuitive illumination, spiritual goals, Zen Buddhism. Yeah, Zen Buddhism, comprehension, understanding, all that. And then it also has folklore where it comes to Let's see, mind reading monkey like monsters. What do you know? So yeah, that's the case. That's the case for these guys. It's pretty much just mind reading monkey, Zen monkey. That's that's pretty much his basic thing. This basic deal. Out of the old version. No, this is the only version. Okay, so well, so basically, Kilo is the region where. Most of the most of these haven't been touched at all in a long time, so it's only gonna have the these this original art. So, well, aside from the few that I revamped, but okay. Moving on, we got Saitori, also the Zen Pokemon. You can see that it raised up a bit more from Monterey. It now floats on the tail like it's like a genie or something. The orbs around its neck are cool. The gem on its head is alright. Basically, this is a, this isn't an okay design, but it just needs it needs better artwork and everything. May actually do more with the body and everything since the body looks kind of plain. Mm. 
yeah, other than that, it's not really much to say. Pum pumpkin. Here we got pumpkin. It's based off of a specific type of pumpkin. It's based off of the cotton candy pumpkin and some other kind of pumpkin. What 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 what, what was the other pumpkin? Yeah, it's based off a of jack o' lantern too, of course. But yeah, it's cotton candy pumpkin and a peanut pumpkin. And it yeah okay. Yeah, basically pumpkin is fine. Is uh it's this is the revamp. This is the old version. So the old version was pretty much just a basic kind of generic kind of thing where it's just okay generic orange pumpkin got the car face out of it and it has like grain plant legs like sprouting legs and stuff it has vines coming out of its cracked head which should which they should be orange because pumpkin guts are orange or light orange and stuff but i was but i didn't really take it much that into consideration at all i don't even know why this hat why it has these when its body is supposed to be hollow. But yeah, again, I wasn't thinking. And the stem just looks weird, especially with the shading, just go a line straight across instead of just actually flowing into the figure of it, whatever. So, and now the new version, it actually has something going on. It has, it's white, because yeah, cotton candy pumpkins are white. Let me go ahead and improve it cotton candy pumpkin yep cotton candy pumpkins they're white and we got the peanut pumpkin which has all these over it and they come from because of the overwhelming amount of sugar that the pumpkin accumulates and they form those kind of wart things so yeah these are like sugar sweet things all over his body and it has this kind of drool carved mark out of it the stem looks good if you flip it upside down it can make it seem like it has it's holding up you're holding it up with a stick or something kind of like it's a cotton candy apple or something but uh, or like a candy apple or something like that but other than that i really like how this came out like it looks a lot more unique than this but yeah, this is cool. I can't say the same for its evolution, though. Gordaver, like I said, I didn't really revamp it yet. It's pretty much just Spiritum, but pumpkin. And I don't really like that about it. Once again... Once again, the vines are green instead of being orange like pumpkin guts actually should be. It's upside down. Uh, the stick because the you can see the stem down here now it has like I don't know why the vines like they're too dark the the stuff is too dark the vines are darker like the thing arms are too dark compared to the actual guts or vines that are inside of his body and like I said it's just spiritual but pumpkin because of how I have the eyes that this eye especially because it has the swirl and hold on i didn't i didn't erase this part so it kind of looks just yeah this is just this is just a no i just don't like it now just a lot of issues but let's move on tick clock a clock pokemon that's it's fine to have a clock pokemon of course i'm gonna have to definitely change it I'm definitely gonna have to like change this thing. And the thing is, it's, it's going to actually have a, it may actually have a pre-evolution and an evolution later on down the line. So I'm definitely gonna have to change it at some point so that it flows better with them. But yeah, right now it's just, it's pretty much just a base off of a, a Zorigami, which is a possessed clock. If I'm correct, if I'm, yeah, Zorikarami. I mean, Zorigami. Yeah, like it's pretty much just one of those cuckoo clocks that have like you could think like that when it, once it hits a certain time, a bird pops out and everything like that. It's based on one of those clocks, but no bird or anything. It's just so it's just pretty much like a birdhouse clock. 
it has the mustache that's with the big hand and little hand it has the four spots for uh 12 3 6 and 9 and it has yellow arms because you know purple and yellow contrast yeah whatever is this is pretty much it's pretty much boring basic not, not there's nothing special about it so i have to yeah next up pontar based off of centaur it's centaur world let's see yeah pontar is eh, it's okay it's one of those situations like you don't have it doesn't have actual who's or anything and it's just it has like a kind of basic top half like this half isn't isn't really I don't really know what to say about this because it's hard to like a lot of these are hard to really talk about because I can't really think of what to say about it like I have stuff to say about them but some of them are harder to explain than others because like I my like the thought process for this one I remember making this kind of thing in high school or something like that like high school middle school and the idea was that it's the younger version, so it doesn't have who like functional hooves or anything. Yet yeah, its legs are just kind of strong, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Their legs lack hooves, making them slightly defenseless. But their muscles, but the muscles inside make up for it. So yeah, the legs are strong, but it just, they just don't have hooves, which kind of takes away from the stuff. It kind of takes away from the strength. But we're gonna move on to Tara. It now has it now has who's and now it's like some kind of weird buff guy uh, on the on the top half. The the tail is now now it's no longer like flowy and fluffy and stuff like that. It's now more harsh, I'll say rough, harsh, and yeah, can't really. What is with me and these beard kind of combos? It, it has a it, wait a, wait a second. Is it is did I give it a mullet? Is that what it, is that? See, mullet, hold on, a mullet. A mullet. Oh my God, I gave it a mullet. Uh, oh boy, I gave it a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay, okay, we're, we're just gonna move on. I gave it a fucking mullet. Next, next. Penisuel. Now, I've shown these guys um, on my Twitter before, and people are people have, people have said, and on DeviantArt, people have said it too, but they say plus one in mining or Nidoran or whatever, when it's like, no, that's not really the case for these guys. The case for these guys was just me being stupid and, you know, blue for, bo blue for boys, red, pink for girls. Yeah, that was my whole thing for these two. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I, they're, they'll they'll change when I get revamped. But yeah, uh, yeah, they're pretty much just rabbit fire rabbits. And what's funny is I I'm just now remembering, I'm just now remembering my one of my like when I was first first starting Pokemon, my starters were going to be Leaf Real, Penniswell was one of the starters too. These guys were these guys were originally going to be starters. Except except you know. They had a different design and they weren't split up into gen their genders, didn't have different appearances. But yeah, they were, they were going to be starters. So Leaf For Real was going to be a starter and Pinnacle was going to be a starter when I was first starting out. I kind of forget the last one who was going to be a starter, but if I run into him and it comes to me, then I'll, then I'll let you guys know. But yeah, right now... We have Pinnacle. They they're not a, you can see that they're not a starter anymore, just like Leaf For Real. Um, but yeah, there, I just wanted to do gender differences, bunnies, that's all, for these guys. They used to be a starter, but I repurposed them. Next up, we got Lagomilk. So, as you can see, they're, they're kind of, like, growing up into their own. The fem the female version, the female is going to become more like a, a sassy model type, and the male version is just kind of, like, a derp, well, yeah, a kind of like a derpy type of guy, like one of those, you know, hot, hot guy, dorky, 
hot hot girl dorky guy kind of kind of combo that kind of deal yeah and finally we got hair up where they're both equally as yeah, kind of cool it has like the the fluffy kind of body the fluffy fur around his legs cuffs like the fluffy cuffs around his body around his lower half and everything and the male just kind of bursting with the smoke around his neck the tail around his legs the smoke around his legs and fire around his arms yeah these guys need a revamp that, that, that's all i really need to say about it because it's kind of like they're all right i just need to redo them next up we got scleros the eyeballs pokemon aka pan's labyrinth aka crumb for our real monsters so yeah these guys this guy this guy's cool um the older design if i if i still have it here yep the older design it the i can't really say anything because the design is remotely the same i just changed the colors and stuff i, I just i just made like the green a bit lighter and made the eyes a bit better yeah they're remotely the same so we so there's not much to talk about this they're based over the tent to nome which is like a monster, a monster or a yokai that has eyes on its hands. Yeah, you can see if this loads up. Japanese yokai, yeah, eyes of hand or hand eyes. Is Japanese yokai. See, as you can see here, it looks weird in the face, but the eyes are on its hand. So yeah, yeah, that's all this guy is. Tanome. same for his evolution demise. The uh, it's pretty much just grown up a bit more. Nah, still, still the same deal. It has the thing, the growths on on either side of his head. His eye, his face is still kind of has a blindfold mark. The tail and everything still fine. I really like the shading that I did on this one. If I if the old version is still here, let's see. Yep, it is. Okay, so the old version compared to the new version, the main difference is. Instead of look, it looking like it's holding its eyes, its eyes are like literally in the palm of its hands now. That's that's the main thing aside from the shading. Yeah, that's the main thing aside from the shading. But yeah, yeah, those guys are fine. Those guys are cool. I really like them. I really like how they came out. Next up, we got Goo Goose. Now, Goo Goose is one of the first mods that I've done that actually has a, a specific av ability tied to it. I don't really do that a lot because I don't really care about all that for the most part. Hell, yeah, most of the most of the actual abilities don't even have actual pages. Like you can see the red line here underneath ability pages does not exist. I don't really do abilities or anything like that because if you know Pokemon already. You can just look up the original abilities and go from there because that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm just using. I'm just using their their terminology and stuff because why not? It's Bulbapedia. This is Bulbapedia format. This is all my stuff, but yeah, yeah. Google's is okay. It's uh, I really like how it came out when it came when it comes down to the um, when it comes down to it. You can see the uh, original designs are not as the original designs are not as unique or cool as the current version. So let's 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 go ahead and do this. All right, the original version, the original version of Goo Goose, the normal form is generic, J just generic. Let's see, circle head basic pointy lower body tail stubby arms curl on his head it's pretty much the baby it's pretty much like a bait one of those baby pokemon like you can see like cleffa having the stubby feet uh has in the curl having a curl on a head like iggly buff but not but not actually uh but now actually like a mark on his head it's just eh. But then the newer version is a lot more unique. It has like a, a fat rounded shape now. It has like the t the little hair on his head, the feeler on his head. His eyes are red because he's been crying. 
like the, the same deal here like the eyes are red because it's crying and it has the same mouth and everything and it has the same like blush marks but besides that this this one has a lot has a lot more personality to it in my opinion because this just looks like a generic alien thing and i don't know why i made it green i green's my favorite color but yeah i, I guess I, that, that's the only reason why because other than that there's no reason for this to be green and it just looks odd like it's sick or something yeah, yeah this one this one looks a lot better and gives off more of a ghostly vibe and then you have the occupant form because it's based off of because hold on I, I should probably get this out the way first goo goose is based off of a i think it was a ikkyo 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 it's based off of an ikkyo which is like when your soul leaves your body or something like that a disembodied spirit yeah that a disembodied spirit that leaves the go that leaves the body of a person and goes somewhere else so yeah that kind of thing so pretty much your spirit is leaving your body so as you can see google's occupant form is pretty damn awful its eyes are now wide as dinner plates the curl on his head has now been completely simplified to now just be a hair on his head instead of it actually being, you know, a part of its head. And but the ear, the ears are not, the ears are roundy here, but are small and pointed here. The blood, the blush, the blush are no longer marks. There are so many inconsistencies. And then, and then the, the damn ghost is just boring as hell. There's nothing going on here. It's just ooh, like no, no emotion, no nothing. It's just bland, stiff, nothing going on. And one eye is bigger than the other and everything. The mouth, there, it's just, uh. But luckily, the new version fixes that. Yep, definitely better than this crap. Let's see, we got Goo Goo's here. And I actually tied it in. It, what makes it more interesting and fun, I tied the body, the bottom part of it in to it. And the thing is, Goo Goose, the new Goo Goose, has the color of this one. Only it's like paler. It's a, bit, it's a lot paler now. But it's still the same thing. You, just, you can see the lower half of the... You can see that the... The purple fluff, the purple pink fluff that was that was on the side of his body, is no longer there here because that's where the ghost that's that's part of where the ghost comes out. So yeah, the the ghost actually the ghost is actually tied into this part of the design so that you know, instead of it just popping out of nowhere with no indication, here. And then the ghost has more personality to it. It has actual stuff going it's actually doing stuff it has actual marks the claws everything it has a smile going on and goo goose is just there and it actually and it actually looks a bit and it actually looks consistent uh like it doesn't have the blush marks anymore but that's okay because you know it's possessed so yeah but yeah i like it i really like it i really like it move let's move on okay so let's go ahead and move on we're going to tonex okay so tonex um okay so tonex is one of the ones that hmm it, it needs work it needs a lot of work like it's shaped like a it's shaped like a microphone I tried, well, at least I tried to make it shape like get, be shaped like a microphone, and it is based on like water bugs and stuff like that. But yeah, it's not really that great. I gave it hell. Is that's that's fucking Meloetta's hair kind of deal? Cause I like the music note thing that Meloetta had going on, and I decided to implement it here, but it didn't really work out that well because it looks weird. I said that these are his organs, which is awkward. I don't know what this on his back is supposed to be, but it glow. But my the idea was that it glows whenever it sings certain notes or something like that, like its tail. It has this on its chest for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's just a lot of things that I don't know. Yeah, it's based off a of microphone and water bugs. 
Same thing with Xylophone. Same deal, except his head is now like a note. Pretty much just got bigger. Extra thing, just extra things got added on. Now the the blue um, sack thing that was on his chest is now part of his body and everything, and the tail is still the same for the most part. I did like a speed paint for Xylophone on my channel early, very early on when I was first starting out with YouTube. So you can so if you want it, you can check that out. Um, it's long. I, I don't really remember how long it is, or if it has music or something to it. But because that was it was years ago when YouTube was completely different and all these different things were and weren't allowed and everything. So yeah. But yeah. Wait, based on the lesser water boatman. Hold on, cause like this this happened a long while ago because I remember. All right, right, right. This was this was uh, I updated this. I updated a uh, Xylotone's page when I was planning on revamping it, and the the process was happening, but I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with it. Okay. But yeah, well now you know now you have a sneak peek as to what Xylotone is gonna look like later on down the line. It's no longer going to be music note head with bug body and Miller what's a hair coming out of its butt. So, yeah. Um I think I think I'm going to end the I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Uh we went through a good chunk of them so far and we're still probably not have I'm sure we're, we're probably far from finished still. We still got a long way to go. So, be sure to tune in next time. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Dark and Windy out.